Hey, if you're wondering why I have taped a small dowel rod to the table to bring up the painting, it's because section seven is this triangle down here. Mug, you're in the way. It's this triangle down here. So I wanted to make sure you'd be able to actually see it when I bring the camera in closer. Welcome to day seven, guys. Are we surprised I have a shirt like this? No. Jar time. Ow. <laughs> Every time. Tracy's dog. My friend Tracy texted me a picture of her dog. So I'm going to attempt to paint a little portrait of her adorable little dog. I think the dog's name is Bailey. Tracy's dog. <laughs> Look at this sweet baby. Look at this sweet girl. Oh my gosh. She's so pretty. Little Bailey Marie. Oh, she's gonna make a really nice addition to this. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Simply due to the shape of the piece for day seven, I am going to try and just put her face there. Cause that blanket is sort of that, that, that Sherpa material. I think I'm just gonna give it sort of like a, a creamy wash. And because that's such a light color, I won't have to worry about it bleeding through into the darker colors that make up the dog's face. I think that's gonna look nice. I think that's gonna look nice. Yee! Okay. So I'm back in with my, my trusty big flat brush. Oh, it's a three quarter inch brush. I thought it was inch. Three quarter inch brush. And I'm just, I'm picking up the ivory paint. Uh oh, this brush is not that clean. Okay, I'm, I'm, I traded out brushes. It's gonna look nice behind her. Mm hmm If I don't like it, I'll cover it up with like a light blue or something. I just feel like we have a lot of blue in this already. I like that this, this little piece could be pretty neutral. Yeah, there we go. Almost matches the tape. <laughs> now, while that is drying, we don't need two early dry time breaks in a row. She'll come later, don't you worry. It's a pet episode, clearly. But while this is drying, I'm gonna get my other paint colors ready. I'm gonna need black, brown, white, and probably more of this. I'm also gonna take a bite of some oatmeal. I love oatmeal. Okay, so I have the Daler Rowney brush number four, right? It's kind of flat, but it's very, very narrow. I'm gonna use this to sort of trace the outline of Bailey, and I'm gonna use brown to do that. I'm gonna actually, oh, that might be too, that might be too dark. I can cover it up. Or do I do it anyway? I can cover it up. So we're just dipping into the brown. It looks like chocolate. Like, tell me that doesn't just look like straight up melted milk chocolate. Somebody wants dessert. I really want to do her justice. Okay, there is a hair in my brush. I almost want to place her nose first, right? See, she's got that dark spot on her nose. Since I want that to be sort of centered on this, I might place that first and that's in black. Maybe I'll start with the brown anyway, just to get the, the shape. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the brown anyway, get the shape, and then go in with the specific colors. There's a plan. So sweet face, starts there. Makes a little triangle of sweetness. Cute. Ray, could you not choose when I am filming to chew on your paper towel roll? I'm, I'm going into the black, I just, I just am. If we're going with features, we're going in for the eyes, okay. And then her eyes are like not that far are, are not that far away from the little triangle of her nose. Cool. Uh, okay. There's something about painting someone else's pet that feels way more high pressure. <laughs> Cause I'm kind of like, this is their baby. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. And then actually I could go around. She has black in her upper body area. Let's say the mouth is like right there. Okay, I just I just did like a little, I used the flat tip of the brush and just did like a little thing, a little sketched, a little line. You can't really see it on camera as the, the mouth line, okay? And then I'm gonna go a little bit under that. And she's got pretty curly fur, but for now we're just going for color and the shape of her face. So I'm going up and in, there's an ear right in there. I'm just gonna sort of mark that as an area that will be black. Just continue that shape up here because I'm not drawing the Sherpa bit. This is some black curly fur too. I'll show some of the brown sort of coming down in the rest of here. Now, if I don't like how much black there is, 
I can cover it up. <laughs> I know that a lot of these paintings have sort of been like, it's really hard to cover up. You know, it's, just, it's all gonna bleed through. Yeah, it's all gonna bleed through if you do one coat, but if you go in with more light paint, you can cover up black, it's possible. Okay, I'm gonna mix my brown and my ivory to make the color of most of her fur. So I'm gonna take a scoop of the ivory over here. I still got black on my brush and a little bit of brown. In my experience, most dogs named Bailey are named Bailey because they look like Bailey's Irish cream. I don't wanna put words in Tracy's mouth. I don't know if that's why, but that color looks like Bailey's Irish cream and her name is Bailey. I'm just saying, I'm just gonna start making fur strokes. That's it, I'm just gonna start making fur strokes. And if you ever decide that you wanna paint an animal, you're gonna, for fur, you're gonna do a ton of layers. Just using one or two colors, you're never, you're not gonna get the, the texture that you want. In order to get that layered look, you need layers. <laughs> We're back with the layers. I'm gonna scoot this a little closer to you. There, that's better. Cute. Anyone else find it weird to hear plane sounds right now? We're not supposed to be going anywhere. I was pretty sure air travel was one of the first things to stop, but whatever, you know, it's fine. No judging, except judging. Downward, sort of feathery furs, feathery hairs, furs, I don't know. Does she have hair or fur? I don't know. Um, She has like a little bit of white on her chin. Oh, and it's really cute. It's not like, white but it's definitely whiter so i'm i mixed a little bit of my lighter like ivory brown mixture and added it to the white are the proportions perfect no basically i'm sorry i want your little your little girl to have a beautiful portrait i did a portrait of my little girl let me tell you every queen deserves their portrait i'm just gonna for my own feeling betterness i'm gonna fill in this black okay i've got this older um half inch brush I'm just gonna dip it into the black. Oh, okay, it's fine. Oh, I hope it's fine. This looks right, right? This is tricky not having like a normal sized canvas to work with because like the picture that she sent me is like, you know, a, a portrait layout picture of her sweet little girl. I am trying to put that on a triangle. <laughs> We're gonna be learning something today. We're gonna be figuring out how to give texture to black fur. I'm thinking gray highlight. Yeah, or white, or both. Who knows? We'll find out. This is dangerous with a big brush, but I'm doing it because I like living on the edge. <sighs> she looks bewildered. You guessed it, brush zero into the brown. <sighs> okay, and I'm gonna go back in with white. I'm gonna go back in with my, my brown and ivory mixture. I'm gonna go back in with all of these colors and just keep putting in little individual hairs because I want, I want this to look real. I do kind of specialize in pet portraits and stuff like that. I painted a, a portrait of Ray for me. Mm -hmm. I painted a little magnet of Dan's dog, his little girl, Sadie. I painted a friend of mine's girlfriend's cat as, uh, as either a birthday gift or an anniversary gift or, or something. And I painted that on a wine glass. Her cat's name was Vino, so it's kind of perfect. I like painting animals. They make everybody happy. Everybody like animals. Everybody like puffies. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. Wow, two very detailed paintings in a row. I'm not even mad. Some paintings take longer than others. Some paintings need more detail and some paintings don't. And who cares? Sometimes you just need a quick little thing and you don't need no more fuss. This is coming together. It looks like, you know, like she, 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 just, she just wants to love you. You know, she just wants to love you. And yes, I'm painting on the tape again. Shut up. <laughs> Literally no one has given me any like mean comments or anything like help myself privileged because a lot of YouTube videos get a lot of hate because people are bored with their lives. And so they want to just be annoying. J, 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 Okay, let's do some lighter color. That same Bailey's cream color as before. And just same thing. 
Yeah, that kind of looks like fur. How about that? I think this is working. <laughs> I'm just going to be going in and out of different colors this whole time. To get the layered look, if you do one color and then do another color and then do another color, don't go back in with any other colors. The layers don't make any sense. It just looks like one is on top of the other and that's not how this is. There's some white and then there's some brown in front of that and some white and then brown and then da 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 da. Like, I want to give her that curliness but that's tough to do. But I'm trying. That looks kind of curly. I like it. <laughs> I'm going in with just the straight ivory okay and it does look kind of blonde i'm probably going to be changing the background color <laughs> so now i'm sort of drawing painting <laughs> like a a curved almost actually almost a fingernail shape just to give it that thicker fur texture there we go okay that makes a lot more sense she has that thicker curly look she looks like a wheaton and they have they have hair not fur so it's thicker i mean i'm assuming she's a wheaton like she really looks like a wheaton my best friend julie has a wheaton named carter julie i i, I hope carter's doing well oh maybe a light orange background keep everything nice and warm that is already so much better. Yeah, the thicker furs are where it's at for this little girl. I'll probably go in again and give it like a, a more deliberate low light with some brown to really define some of these hairs. It's starting to look like a doggo. My boyfriend's parents have a little black dog. It's an, a miniature schnauzer named Bella. And she is a sweet old lady, sweet old soul. And uh, when they saw me paint their son's dog, they were like, ooh, I want one too. And I'm like, you have an all black dog. I can try. Obviously, we know I'm gonna try because this is a partially black dog. That's tough. I'm having fun with this one. Not that I haven't had fun with all of these because I have had fun with all of these. Even all the crap I gave that hedgehog. <laughs> now, one of the things that I absolutely freaking love about Wheatons is that their muzzle fur kind of covers up their eyes. And it's like, oh, can you see me or no? I don't know. You're just being cute and covered in fur. So, yeah that's happening because i don't want any of my low lights to blend with anything dry time water again <sighs> okay i'm going to do some very carefully placed low lights in the rest of the face fur just make it look a little more defined and then i'm going in with the white to try and detail out this black fur just some very deliberately placed pieces right because i want to make sure you can sort of tell where shadows that her fur creates on her fur hair fur hair i think technically wheatons have hair because it grows and they don't shed like they're hypoallergenic dogs right i own a bunny same coloring <laughs> actually she also has black on her nose is my bunny bailey in bunny form fun i'm just i'm 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 mm, i gotta stop i gotta stop i gotta stop because this is bothering me <laughs> i'm gonna shape out the nose uh, the actual nose because the, it's a black nose right she does have a black nose as we all know it's a wet nose so we gotta give it some wet some wetness Yes. Oh, you know what I should do? I should make a gray color. Like a really dark gray. Almost black, but definitely lighter. Like a really dark charcoal color. Ah, there it is. There's a nose. Well, now the whole nose is gray. Let's recenter that. Go back in with the black. <laughs> I mean, human noses are hard to do. Why are animal noses hard to do? <laughs> Why does it look so weird? That's better. I think I need to bring the bridge of her nose in a little bit. It just feels too wide at the top. Remember when I said I was gonna start detailing this fur? I think I was just stalling this part. <laughs> Let's do a gray. Let's do a gray. I don't know. I'm just making curls. When did that happen? Maybe it'll look like her. Oh, Tracy, I'm sorry. Tell Bailey I love her. Cause I do. I mean, look at this freaking face. Does this look like a dog, you guys? This is where my lack of professionalism shows. I'll move this in closer. The texture's weird. The texture's just weird. It certainly looks furrier now, which is good. That's what we want. We want it to look like. Is that little fluff a beast who just wants to love you? Yeah. Little highlights of the white to look like <sighs> something's going on here. You can tell as a dog, guys. <laughs> I was genuinely worried. I'm changing the background color to orange because I can't handle this but like a peachy orange not orange like i'm just gonna add white and maybe some of the ivory to the orange yeah sure i don't know it is a nice color to like contrast how neutral the color of her fur is a detail brush for that mm. 
This is gonna be another one of those paintings where I let you know if I edit something later because I'm just not settled on this background color. That's day seven, fam. That's day seven. Seven days. Wow, okay, yeah. Oh, I got paint on my hand. <laughs> Let's bring it in. Here is the portrait of Bailey. Right? Maybe? Oh! <laughs> yeah? Can you tell that that is a wheat and terrier with a sweet face that just wants to love you? I hope you can. I tried my best, I swear, Tracy, I swear. Well, Tracy, I hope I did okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you guys know if I change anything with Miss Bailey Marie. In the meantime, Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good time. Please subscribe because I have 23 more of these to go and I'm going to keep updating you every single day. I have a playlist of these videos, so make sure you check out all the others. If you're just joining me now, make sure that you check out days one through six so far. That's all for me. Please like, share, subscribe, all the things, and I will see you for day eight.